All right. Hey, everybody. This is Robert Ferguson, Roberto Lorenzo Ferguson. I am a nutritionist. I'm your nutritionist. I'm a guy who shares because I care. And it's Fat Loss Friday as I record this live, and I want to welcome you here. I'm glad you're here. Because the theme of my share today is really framed around that whole notion of I wish I knew then what I know now. Have you ever thought that to yourself? Have you ever been in a moment? Seriously, think about where you are. It could be relationships. It could be dieting. It could be nutrition knowledge. It could be exercise. It could be maybe your mom, your dad are no longer here. It could be framed around a lot of different things, right? Because some people, if they could go back in time, and let's say they don't have their father or their dad or their mom anymore, and I'm blessed. My mom, as I share this right now, is still my mom. And she's still available for me to call. My dad isn't. And at my age and how I think today, there's a lot of things that come to mind when I think about, man, if I knew back then what I know now, yeah, there would be some, I would have done some things differently. And when it comes to weight loss and nutrition, woo, there are a lot to talk about when it comes to that. Think about it. There is a lot. If you knew now, like there are people who have certain diseases that were preventable. There are people who woke up one day and their diabetes just got horrible. There are people like I had a client recently who was taking a ton of supplements and I would question her on these supplements. And we're going to talk about this today. And she didn't like how I questioned the supplements. And she was like, you don't have anything good to say about my supplements. I said, look, I understand supplements. I'm educated around supplements. I understand food is made. I understand all of this. And you're taking supplements that are questionable. And so I only coached this woman for a month. And she's one of those people where she was like, she wasn't feeling good about it. And I wasn't, and I was like, you know what? Yeah, we, we don't even need to pause this. You know, good luck because she felt she already knew things. And then I got a phone call the other day from the person who introduced me to this lady. And she had a massive stroke. Massive stroke, not a, not a slight stroke. And man, I, my heart goes out to her. But some of the things she was taking had links to things like stroke and heart disease. So here she is taking these supplements every day with no real knowledge about them. Just, I mean, like, what do you call that? And she was going against everything I was saying, which is fine. But my goal is to give you the best information at, at the moment I'm giving it to you. And this is my profession. It's kind of like I was talking to one of my clients earlier. Her name is Terry, and Terry is amazing at what she does in real estate. And I feel that I'm amazing in the world of nutrition and all of this stuff. I'm not going to go in her neck of the woods and just think I know real estate because I read a couple of books. I'm going to go to someone who, who knows it, who has experience. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn from them. I'm going to be mentored. I'm going to hire her as my coach if I was getting into real estate. And that's why she hired me in the areas of nutrition for me to deliver. It's, 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 it's my responsibility. It's my goal to deliver. So with this lady, I'm telling you guys, I gave her my best recommendations. And she pushed back and just had to keep taking all these supplements. And not all of them were bad, but there were some that were extremely questionable. And now she's living with a massive stroke. She will never be the person that she once was. She will never be the person that I had a chance to coach. Never again. That's over. And I told her about my supplements. Like we have a 30-day Vita blend that's part of our 
detox drop. I've vetted our supplement. I put that baby together step by step. I've had coaches go through each supplement, the amounts and all of that, and come back to me like when I'm Debbie, I was talking to this morning, who's a coach. She's also a client. I mean, Debbie's down almost 100 pounds right now. She's down 17% body fat. She went from 253 pounds to 157 pounds. She's off metformin. She's off blood pressure medication. Her rheumatoid uh, arthritis is in remission. And her carb threshold score that we provide, right, when you become a client or you do our carb threshold score, she started out at 2.0. So some of you guys who are catching this, she started at 2. And when I did her numbers this morning, her carb threshold score is 57. Once you get up to 60, there's no more insulin resistance. You have arrived. 60 is like getting an A+. And here's a woman who I started coaching over a year ago at 253 pounds. And right now she's 157 pounds and rocking. Rocking. And because of her and some of my other clients, they're the ones who encouraged me to make the 30-day Vita blend available so that people could have it instead of spending money on all these supplements they can't trust. So I made it available. And and Debbie, big shout out to you, Debbie, because you're the one who inspired me for today's topic. Wishing I knew then what I know now. Another person we had a coach call last night, and I'm, I'm and, and I'm going to come back to where our focus is, okay? But but Catherine, I want to give you a big shout out. Catherine's down about thirty pounds of fat right now, and she's becoming a coach. She's becoming one of our coaches, and she's already coaching people. She's already paying it forward. She's got a new gig now. You can work as much as you want or as less as you want. I'm telling you, our best coaches are the ones that were clients first. And that's why when we have current, like current coaches right now going through the training, if they never were a client or understood the methodology, part of our training is that I coach them for at least a month and then they will know the methodology and then we put them in a position where they can help other people. Wow. Again, if I knew then what I know now, and Big Tam- Tammy, 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 you know who you are. I want to give you a big shout out. I was on Facebook like this a couple months ago, and she reached out to me and said, hey, 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 tell me more, because she wants to get off medications. So I had room in my discounted program to coach her. She's down 20 pounds, four inches off her waist, 10% body fat. And we've cut her medications down significantly. And as I was talking to Tammy this morning, I said, Tammy, we have the momentum. You are doing absolutely fabulous. Here's the deal. Stay the course. Most people who are not successful The reason why they're not successful in losing weight and getting off meds and reversing their diabetes is they don't know how to stay the course. And later on in life, they will have a moment when they will say out loud, I wish I knew then what I know now. See, if you continue to do the things you continue to do, like losing weight, gaining it back, losing weight, gaining it back. In the medical world, we call that weight cycling. If you look into weight cycling from a health perspective, you'll see that it's really bad on your health. Really bad on your health. Now, if you've done it many times, don't beat yourself up because we can we can fix a lot of that. A lot of this can be fixed if you do it the right way. If you do it the right way way. I used to tell people when I train athletes, I said, look, you can be a world champion if you do it the right way. Because taking shortcuts and you keep taking shortcuts, I don't know what's in your mind, but that's the sign of insanity 
If you continue to do things again and again and again and again, and you keep expecting a different outcome, that's insanity. People know me. Like one of the cool things that when you've been doing this kind of work for a long time and you're successful on a really big level, then if I'm your coach and you're not successful, it's going to be on you. It, 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 it's not on me. People who work with me and then they stop or they quit or they get discouraged, that's on them. And many of them won't come back because they don't have the humility in them to come back. And so they will just keep wondering, keep wondering, right? It's like, it's like you know, if you read the Bible, right? When they just, the Israelites just, they just roam in circles and circles and circles. 40 years made no progress. I see that. I see that with people. And I'm not laughing at them. It's like all a person has to do is get humble. Like if you're hearing what I'm sharing right now, and let's say you have fatty liver. Let's say that you got some weight to lose. Okay, yeah, you could do it on your own. But why? Be smart. It's like I was I was talking to a client this morning. And this client is really big on supplements. It's a new client. And she's taking this one supplement for magnesium. And I said, okay, so you're taking magnesium. Can I ask you a question? And she said, uh, yeah. I said, why are you taking that supplement? And she was like, well, you know, hey, magnesium is, is an important mineral. It, I believe it helps my sleep. And, you know, I, I, I just something that I feel right. And so I, I want to keep taking it. I said, OK. I said, now I know what you're eating, right? And she goes, yeah. I said, well, I know you like to snack on almonds. You eat avocado a little bit, like almost every day. Uh, black beans are a big part of the way you eat. Uh, I've seen you snack on dark chocolate and you like our overnight oats and you always use, you know, the pumpkin seeds. And I think what you eat salmon, how many days a week, like two, three times a week? She goes, yeah, I love salmon. And I see you make smoothies with bananas in it. And I said, and I, oh yeah, and I saw that you made collard greens last weekend. She goes, yeah. She goes, what's your point? I said, the foods that I just mentioned are extremely high in magnesium. So why would you be taking a, a supplement for magnesium when you are consuming an abundant amount of magnesium? And she goes, wow, I, I didn't know that. I said, a lot of people don't know. And they like to guess. There are people using protein powders right now that have ingredients in them that are synthetic and do harm, hinder their health instead of helping their health. And they don't know. They don't know. There are people right now taking a multivitamin who are personal trainers, uh, fitness influencers, uh, group uh, fitness instructors, uh, nutritionists, dietitians. They are, they are consuming supplements right now that I could show you paper after paper after paper after paper that has negative outcomes or, or is linked to some negative detrimental um, outcomes when it comes to a person's health. And they have no idea. L let's go, I mean, let's, I mean, really, I mean, just hear what I'm saying. Go take an inventory of what you have in the house and ask yourself, okay, if I'm going to take a supplement, what kind of supplement? So you say, well, Robert, you have your 30 day, you know, Vita blend, you know, yeah, I do. And it's now 30 days to save people money and to make sure that they're getting stuff that is good. So I put it together and it took time to do it. I could argue every point of the supplements. The quality is there. There's no seed oils that like are wrapped around our vitamin D3 because we teach how to eat food. We teach nutrition along with how to optimize overall health with supplements instead of just randomly out there taking supplements. So it was needed. I mean, we had a young lady, Liz, big shout out to you, Liz. She did our detox drop. And Liz noticed she has a skin condition that when she did a detox drop, her skin, it cleared up. 
So in her mind, she's like, okay, well, after I do the detox drop, then I'm just going to keep eating that way because I can't believe how good my skin looks. So she does that and her skin condition comes back. And we talked about it because I'm coaching her. And I said, well, you did the detox, but you didn't do the supplements that go with the detox. She goes, you're right. So then when she brought the supplements back, her skin cleared up again. So she was like, man, I hope one day you can make a 30 day supply because then I can only just buy, I can save money because I can just buy my supplements from you. And I know it's helping my skin because I'm experiencing it. This makes total sense. Yeah, let me know. And then I had a few other people did the exact same thing. The request was huge to include Debbie, who I just talked about. And now we have a 30 day supply. No guessing people. A 30 day supply that is the real deal. I'll give you one more example. Like one of my clients who's in his 90s. Great, 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 great guy. He has kidney failure stage three. He's got a pump for insulin. He has glucose tablets. Things were not going in the right direction. His son encouraged him to connect with me and his son is doing great. I'm coaching him also. And after the first call, the uh, dad, the 90 year old dad decided, you know, he went and told his endocrinologist what he was doing. They said, hey, has this nutritionist ever worked with people your age and under your condition? And he says, well, I'll ask. So he asks, and I don't take offense to it. I'm like, yeah, I, I've been here before. And we just started talking, and now I'm looking at his numbers, and I'm just blown away how well he, he is rocking. Now, when I look at someone in stage three kidney problems, right, I know that a lot of people are taking supplements with vitamin B in it. And if you're taking the wrong synthetic vitamin B, it's clear in all the medical journals that that synthetic vitamin B will actually cause more harm to anyone who has kidney problems. See, here's the good news. It's nice to be in a situation where you can say, man, I wish I knew then what I know now. Well, right now, you guys, if you're 60, you ain't too old. If you're 74, you ain't too old. If you're 80, you ain't too old. My 93-year-old client, he ain't too old. I had someone say, wow, I'm impressed. I said, what are you impressed with? They said, he's still trying to get better? Absolutely. The song is still playing. Because think about it. When some of you were 40, you thought you had gotten old. And now you're 64. When you're 75, you're going to look at 64 and go, man, I wish I knew. Then what I know now, I was doing great at 64. But you got to be wise, man. You got to be wise. And while we have time, like I'm going to do the best I can while I'm here. That's why we have this food is medicine course. And I'm excited about it like in a big way. Because so many people who take this course are going to be informed. They're going to know things that most doctors don't know. I'm setting this up so that they could go back and use it as a resource, print out things, pull things. I'm going to show them how they can like research things so that they are in the know. And once you know, oh, it gets scary. It gets scary. It gets scary. You want to know the part it gets? What, if, if you guys are catching me live, what do you think is the scary part? What do you think I'm guessing is the scary part? When you know something, like when you're informed. What's scary about that? Anybody want to take a, just a wild guess? Like, what would make that scary? To know something that a lot of people don't know. And it's the truth. Like, what's scary about that? I got less than five minutes. If somebody wants to take a shot. Now, Sandy makes a comment. What's up, Sandy? Sandy says, because of you, Mr. Robert Ferguson, I've gotten rid of 95% of my supplements. Look, I am not anti-supplement because I have supplements that I make available. <laughs> but if you're going to have supplements, have the right supplements. You know, one of my clients said, 
I'm really upset because I'm, I'm I had my kid taking this multi level mark, not multi level marketing, this multivitamin, and a couple of the ingredients you said aren't ideal are in these supplements, and I'm just frustrated. And I said, okay, I said, but why did you give your son a multivitamin? Well, I mean, because it just seems like the right thing to do. I said, well, do me a favor, ask me. As a nutritionist, a guy who talks about this, studies this, researches this, does things on this, knows this very well, ask me if I give my daughters a multivitamin. And she said, do you give your daughters a multivitamin? And if so, let me know, because that's what I want to give my kid. I says, no. Why would I give my kids a multivitamin? We eat food at my house. They eat food. I know what they potentially could be missing. And we avoid most of the stuff that's packaged because it's fortified with a whole bunch of stuff that we don't need. I just really believe that a lot of people, and I've been saying this for years, right? You could hear me saying this 10 years ago, 15 years ago, even when I endorse and work with a supplement company, I'm always going to keep it real. And there are some supplements that actually make sense. They're innovative, but you can't, I mean, but not all. Where's the argument for all? That's business. And there's no real long-term studies on a lot of these, these things, right? So I just mentioned that my client could have been taking a vitamin B synthetic vitamin that causes harm to someone who is experiencing problems with their kidneys. He doesn't want to, he wants to preserve his health. But yet imagine that he went and bought this, this synthetic form of vitamin B. And he's thinking he's helping himself, but he's actually hurting himself. Now that's crazy. That's why it's good to know. I mean, I have a couple of clients that pay me a lot of money. They will, you know, set up a coaching calls. Um, and when I say a lot of money, to me, it's a lot. $1,200 for me just to review, uh, do an inventory on the products that they have in the house, to look at their groceries, to teach them a couple things. And then I may not hear from them for six months. And then when the seasons are changing or maybe they have something different going on with their health, then they reach out to me for another consultation. Because they trust me as a trusted source to help them navigate around what's real, what's not. Because who wants to like take something for a long period of time thinking you're doing good and you're doing harm? Now, not everybody wants to lose weight. Some of you guys have just given up. You just want to live and just kind of be. You're married. Your husband don't care if you lose weight or not. You're not trying to impress anybody. You're okay with where you are. You're just, just okay. You're not trying, you're not like my 93 year old client who's looking to get better. You're just, I'm good. But let me tell you in 10 years, cause it ain't going to stay where it is. It's going to get a little worse. And you'll be thinking if I knew then what I know now, I would have got started earlier. Well, there you go. Anyway, I want to inspire you guys. You know, as I mentioned, Tammy, she wanted to do something and she did. Debbie wanted to do something about her situation and she did. Catherine wanted to do something about her situation and she did. My 93 year old client, Philip, he wanted to do something and here we are. No matter where you are, you can improve. No matter where you are, you can improve. But whatever you do, make sure it's right so you don't look back in a year, five years or 10 years, and realize you did it wrong. There are people doing cleanses. There are people taking certain supplements. There are people eating certain ways. And if they can go back, and I'm thinking, what, five people right now that did keto, and I had talked to them years before and told them, don't do it. Not because of what they're eating, but what they're not eating. 
And the five that I'm thinking about right now, they were not my clients when this happened. They got diagnosed with colon cancer. And all five of them are no longer here. They are no longer alive. And before they died and when they were going through that, trust me, if they knew, you see what I'm saying? See where this goes? They would have done things a little differently. They would have done things a little differently. There's business decisions you guys have made. You would have done things a little differently. I mean, I know I, I mean, we all, this is for all of us. This ain't just you. I mean, there's a whole bunch of things I wish I knew I would have done differently. Um, but I'm learning from that and I don't want to keep, I don't want to repeat. And I definitely know that when I go into a different space, a different field, if I wanted to do something in real estate or if I, I'm going to the, the, I'm going to a trusted source, man. And so I'm making sure that I'm a trusted source and helping people optimize. You can do something about it. Okay, if you guys have questions, reach out to me. I don't know if I didn't make my assistance email there. It's lori at dietfreelife.com. Other than that, you can go to our website at dietfreelife.com. You can contact us right through there. Uh, and if you want to learn more about any of the programs, products, the links are provided. And you can register early for our Food as Medicine conference. It's virtual. It's on demand. So you can be there live. And you can just experience it live two days later. But let's make it happen. All right. I'm Robert Ferguson. You have a good one. I'll be back tomorrow.